Hello all. Uh, today I will explain how to create a database uh, in using Canary software. Okay. So to create a database using Canary, uh, you, you need to open any uh, Canary configuration. Uh, it can be an empty configuration or a dummy configuration or your existing configuration. And uh, go to the tools section in Canary tool and you will find an option called can dp plus plus editor so so using this you can actually create a can uh, not only can but uh, you can create different type of uh, uh, network databases okay let's click on can dp plus plus editor okay so once you click on it you will get an editor for creating a database so to create a database go to the file create database and uh, we will get templates for creating a database for different networks so in uh, today i will uh, show you how to create a can uh, database using this can template.tpc uh, you can also select uh, uh, the other templates based on the uh, databases which you wanted to create um, let's select a can template and then create one for our use case so let me create a database and demo network database okay so now i created this so you can see by default uh, the name of the network will be the whatever name we gave while saving this database okay can demo network and under this you will find all these categories like is use environment variable network node messages and signals but for us the most interesting part is network nodes messages and signals this is where uh, we actually define our ecu names and that or whatever messages belong to that message uh, ecus uh, network nodes and uh, the signals which belong to the particular message which we created okay so let's try to create one uh, ECU node. Um, I want to name it as um, engine. Okay. So let's create a network in, uh, network node engine. So nodes are nothing but our ECUs. Okay. And uh, create a message for that. And uh, let me name the message as engine engine warnings okay so this is how you will create a message uh, by right clicking on messages you will get option for creating a new message once you click on that you will get a pop-up for filling that data relevant to the message so first you need to enter the name of the message which you wanted to create and then you need to select the type of the message so here we have both the can standard and extended message let's try to create only the standard one and let us give the message id can message id and dlc uh, i am leaving the dlc as eight okay and uh, right now we don't have the option to select the t transmitter tx method and cycle time uh, because these are disabled since we this database is still incomplete okay click ok then the message is here and create a signal for that message um engine warning maybe i can create a engine warning signal like uh, engine oil low okay and uh, you need to also specify the length of the signal which you are trying to create and byte order so we have two types of order intel byte order and uh, Motorola byte order and uh, for the demo purpose i am selecting the intel byte order so the byte order actually defines the way how the message uh, uh, data is uh, structured in a message uh, in a message okay so when the signal is getting interpreted uh, either the Motorola way or Intel way we need to specify it otherwise the bits and bytes will be 
Oh, changed. Okay. Um, and we have also options for uh, factoring the signal and offsetting the signal. So when you give a factor here, it will be multiplied by the raw uh, raw signal value. Okay, when before it is displayed. And if you put an offset value, whether it can it, the signal value will be either subtracted or multiplied, uh, subtracted or added to the offset. Okay. So right now I'm leaving the default value, so I don't want to set any offset and give a factor. Uh, the value types you can also specify whether the value which you are trying to uh, send or receive is whether it is a signed value, unsigned value, float or double. Okay, let's make this unsigned because we have only zero and one. And uh, you can also specify the minimum and maximum value. In our case, either zero or one. Okay, and uh, so you will also have the option for calculating the min and maximum value based on the size of the uh, length of the signal. Okay. If I change it to 2, then if you do the calculation, the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 3. Okay, let's change it back to 1 so that it will be 0 and 1. And you will also have an option to select the value table for the signal values. Okay, right now it didn't create any value table, that's why it is not showing any value tables here. Uh, let's try to create this signal and then create a value table for those values uh, well, uh, for the signal values so to create a value table you need to go to view uh, value tables new value table uh, engine name the value table I, okay engine oil warning and give the description for the values maybe 0 is okay, okay. and uh, while no click ok this value table is created now save the database uh, go to the signal again you need the signal to get the value table name okay now this value table is available um, let us add this database to create a database to the uh, demo configuration so to add the database to the uh, configuration go to the simulation setup database under the your network go to databases add database and then you can select the database which you uh, wanted to select okay okay let's select the database which we just created now okay now you can see the database is added here and uh, go and insert in IG block in your simulation setup and add the red uh, frame which you just uh, okay we forgot one more thing we also uh, need to uh, map the signals and messages as well as with the net networks okay so right now we created a signal and message and uh, network mode individually but we need to map them so that they were uh, bind it together okay so let's go to edit signal messages add the message which uh, the signal belongs to okay now this is added click okay or okay and go to the network edit node engine node and then you can add the message which you wanted to transmit okay save this or oh, that uh, sorry and if you expand the engine uh, network mode now you will find the tx message engine warning and under that I, the map to tx signal okay now go back to the configuration 
can IG block and add the frame so that it displays everything in a structured way. So networks expand networks, then you will find engine. But this is the node which we created just now. And uh, if you expand the TX frames, so this is what we added as a TX message to the engine node. Okay, click OK. Then you will find uh, uh, the message which we tried to transmit here. Okay, let's go back to analysis, open trace window so that we can see uh, if we are transmitting this message in live. Uh, let's try to make this periodic every hundred millisecond. I wanted to maybe 50 millisecond. I wanted to transmit this message. Save, run, start the message. Now you can see the message is displayed here. Okay, so the uh, if the day. Uh, ID is described in a CAN database, then only all this info will be displayed here. Like in the column name, you are seeing engine warning because uh, we created this message in database and then this database has touched in this network and also mapped that particular message to this CAN ID. Uh, let's see a, a message. We will try to transmit a message which is not part of a database and we'll see the difference between the message which is described in database and the message which is not described in database okay let's uh, send a id 500 once okay now you can see uh, 500 is displayed here without any description okay there is no name for this message id can id and uh, uh, what is the content inside that message is also not available okay but if you see the message which is described in database you will have the option to expand and see what is the content inside it okay uh, let's try to change the signal value of uh, engine high low signal if we change it then you can see here it is also showing the description of the signal value okay so one is low warning zero is okay okay so this is how we can create a database and uh, uh, add ecu uh, network node messages signals and value tables inside a database um yeah i think that's it in this video maybe uh, based on your uh, comments I can add more about uh, databases uh, there are many options which we haven't explored in uh, database um, like how to use attribute definitions communication matrix and the, what are the different options available and there is something called um, uh, there is something called uh, let me see uh, it more multiplexer so we, there is an option to uh, multiplex the signals uh, in a message okay so based on your uh, uh, comments maybe i can add those videos if you are interested please comment below thank you bye